people i'm back with another video and today i have another project use it up for you guys so um i was going through my last two project use it ups and i was just thinking let me go ahead and pull out the scents that i'm really focusing on trying to move out of my collection and use that up for the next like month or so so that's what i have here that's what i'm going to show you all so this is oh uh, my current project use it up okay i'm gonna hop right on into this and so also too something else that i'm doing slightly different with this project use it up is i figure i'm gonna start combining some of my other body care products that i use into my bath and body works project use it ups because i mean it's all body care right so yeah and i figure you all wouldn't mind seeing the other body care that i use outside of my bathroom body work products so anywho i'm gonna go ahead and hop right on into this and so my first focus is trying to get through these pumpkin scents that i got and that's been in my collection for a long time so i do have my white pumpkin and chai um this is the shower gel here and that is how far i have gotten on it i'm well on my way of getting this out of my collection so i only have like it's like a little bit less than half so um i know about my next update this will be gone so i'm working on this and this should be out of my collection soon i also have which i've been pairing with the the white pumpkin and chai um shower gel is the marshmallow pumpkin latte and this is the lotion here again um this scent isn't really one of my favorites but i have been getting through it so i'm um, again less than halfway gone on this so i know again at the next update this will be out of my collection as well um this scent actually is slightly growing on me a little bit still not my favorite but not as bad as when i originally tested it out so it's slightly growing on me but yeah i still be happy to go ahead and move this out of my collection so um this is marshmallow pumpkin latte next scent that i'm working on is um let's see okay champagne apple and honey so this is the shower gel right here i still absolutely love and adore this scent but um i'm about halfway through the shower gel i've kind of low-key been taking my time using it up because i really like the scent but yeah i'm using this as well and I also have the um, body cream in champagne, apple, and honey. And the body cream, I'm about, I would say I'm about down to here, which is like a little bit less than half. Um, so this will probably last me about like another week, week and a half. So again, I've just kind of been taking my time using it. I kind of use it. I've got, I got like three different scents in rotation right now. So this, so this is the other one that I'm using right now. Um, the third scent that I have in like steady rotation is my, where is it at? Okay. Is my hot cocoa and cream. So this is the one that I'm currently using as well. This stuff smells really good, just like a cup of hot chocolate. Um, I do have reviews on all of these scents that I just mentioned, so I will leave those in the cards and then also in the description box. But this scent is lovely in the shower, and then it smells just as good in the body lotion. So I got these two also in rotation. So these three scents that I just mentioned, they're all in current rotation right now. In between using those scents when I'm kind of bored of those three, I also have Winter Candy Apple going. Um, so I really like this scent as well. Really nice and sweet um, along with the Winter Candy Apple Lotion. And this is where I'm at on both of these items. I am trying to make my way through this, okay? And then I don't know if I showed where I was at on the Hot Cocoa and Cream, but... This is the progress I've made on those so far. Not too big of a dent. Like I said, I'm really just kind of cracking into that one. The next one that I'm currently using, not in any rush at all whatsoever to use, is the Christmas cookies. Um, so you can see the fine fragrance mist. I've made a little bit of a dent on it. And then my um, body cream. I haven't made much of a dent on it at all. I think I've used this maybe about five or six times absolutely love this scent but it's in my collection i'm not in a hurry to use it up or to move it out so likely i'll have it um either up until next christmas because i don't have a backup just yet i meant to get a backup of it or um i'll just kind of like take my time using it until i use it up but this scent is delectable really love it i forgot to mention this earlier but this is my champagne apple and honey fine fragrance mist i've been using that with the set i i really really like this scent a lot i don't even know I can see where I'm at I would say if I had to guess I'm probably about here 
on the scent so I'll probably have like a fourth of the bottle left this did not last me long at all um I think I just really enjoy the scent a lot so I've been spraying it like crazy but yeah I definitely need to get a backup of this because it's really good so yeah I'll be looking to try to get a backup of this sometime soon maybe I'll try to do that during SAS the next thing I have here is fresh sparkling snow so once I get through some of these other shower gels that I'm using this would be the one that's on standby to pull out and use next so I have this one I also have rose which is a shower gel that I used already it's in the mini um, I used it when I traveled recently and I actually really like this scent way more than I thought I would so yeah I have rose here that I'm trying to use up and I actually recently just bought the I think the lotion in it so I might try to save this actually to try to combine with the lotion to see what the longevity is as far as, far as the scent is concerned but yeah really been enjoying this scent as well the next scent that is currently in my shower actually at least the body scrub anyway is the softening body scrub from the coco shea honey line really like this um scent a lot this scrub is really nice and moisturizing in the shower as well i've been pairing that with the coco shea honey moisturizing body oil and then the oil i would say that i'm about here on the oil I should be marking these. I used to mark them in my project use it up, so I might need to start doing it again. But I'm about here on the body oil. Absolutely love the body oils from Bath and Body Works. And then I also have the lotion that I'm using. So using this set right here. Um, I'm not in a hurry to move this out of my collection either. So with this lotion, I might actually put this to the side and try to use a little bit later. But for sure, I want to go ahead and move these two out of my collection because one, I have a backup of this one. And two, I just want to use this body scrub up. So yeah, these are the ones I'm focusing on. And if I have time to get around to using a lotion, then I will. Next two scents here. Um, well, at least this next scent is um, Winterberry Wonders. So this scent... Y'all, this has been in and out of my Project Use It Ups for over two years. I don't know what it is about this scent. I actually really like it. It's a nice fruity winter scent. It's something that can be used year round, but for some reason, every time I put it into a Project Use It Up, for some reason, I just take it back out. So I'm not really sure what it is about this scent that I'm just not wanting to like use it up, but I have it. It's here. At some point, I'll get through it, but anytime I start using it, I always find another scent that I gravitate towards overusing this so yeah i don't know do y'all have that problem with winterberry wonder like i like it it's a good scent but i just can't find a reason to kind of continue using it to get it out of my collection um so yeah i probably won't repurchase this when i use it up because it's taking so long to get through it but it is a nice scent though i don't know but yeah winterberry wonders the next one that i have here also another one um oh, actually so this is vanilla bean noel y'all so y'all know how i feel about this scent i've been having a hard time with it not my favorite it smells a little bit plasticky. I just want to use it up, get it out of my collection. And I actually mentioned this um, during my um, winter project use it up video. And well, I mentioned this scent during my last project use it up video. And I had a subscriber who recommended a great suggestion, which is to use your body creams, body lotions that you don't really enjoy just as like a designated foot cream. And then just use it on your feet, right? And then use whatever other scent you want on the rest of your body. And I just thought that was a great hack. So that's how I'm actually planning to get, get through this scent once. This other scent that hasn't been like that I wasn't too impressed with. Um, how I plan to use that, which is um, Sleep. So this scent right here, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Like it was nice. It was good, but just it wasn't that moisturizing. And so since it's winter time, I figure, you know, might as well just use it on my feet just to kind of get through it. Um, I'm not really showing my feet anyway. So yeah, this is sleep. This is where I am on this. I mean, I'm pretty much almost done with it. So I figure another week or two, I'll, it'll be gone. So once I finish this, which I'm using specifically for my feet, I'm going to start using Vanilla Bean Noel to go ahead and try to get this out of my collection. Like once this get out of my collection, I'll be so happy. So yeah. These two are also being used right now. And then I also have this Aromatherapy 5-in-1 um, Essential Oil Mist from Bath & Body Works. So this I've been using um, when I meditate. I'll use it to kind of freshen my linens, things like that. And so this is where I'm at on it. It's about halfway through. And this thing I actually used when I did my staycation. Um, so I will leave my little staycation video linked down in the description in case you guys want to check it out. But I pretty much rounded up all of my Bath & Body Works aromatherapy care 
and just took it <laughs> on like a little staycation with me to try to like get nice and zen so yeah um i do like this a lot okay so i have two more bath and body works items and then the rest of the items i'm going to talk about are actually just more body care items that i'm using um, that i want to get through so Next we have Shunshine Mimosa from Bath & Body Works. I'm using this scent. Not really that impressed with it. Like it smells good. It's just like a nice light fruity scent. But the lasting power on it is absolutely horrible. So um, I spray it and it's gone within like, you know, 30 minutes or even an hour. So yeah, right now at this point I'm just spraying it just to kind of get rid of it. I might just try to use it as a room spray or something. But yeah, I have this. And the last Bath & Body Works item that I have is In The Stars. Y'all know this is like my all-time favorite scent for Bath & Body Works. Absolutely love it. Not in a hurry to get rid of it, but I'm about halfway through it. Maybe just a little bit less than halfway through. Um, I don't know how I feel. Like, I want to use it up just to get it out of my collection. But at the same time, like, I really love this scent. So, I'm not in a hurry to do that. And so, um, this is a great segue into some of my non-Bath & Body Works items. So, I've been pairing this with the perfume that I absolutely love too. They kind of smell very, very similar to me anyway. And this is Ariana Grande Cloud. So, I've been pairing these two together. Really like it. And so, this is my Cloud perfume. This is where I'm at on it. I really don't even have much left at all. Again, I like it. So, I've kind of been holding on to it. But I have a backup of it. So, I don't know why I'm like low-key hoarding it. So... Yeah, I figured I'd mention it in this video to try to motivate me to go ahead and finish it off. You know, I don't have much left in this perfume. So I have this. Um, the next perfume I'm currently using is um, La Vie A Belle. Um, and I have her in the big size bottle, y'all. Like, she huge. And I love this scent. It is really nice. So, yeah, it's just really nice, feminine, sweet. I like it a lot. So this is the scent here and this is where I am at. I've been using this scent for about, let me see, eight months now. And um, typically I try to grab this if I'm just going out just for like everyday wear or whatever. But yeah, this is what eight months of use looks like. Um, I've not been using this exclusively, but I've made a pretty good dent on her. So she's in my collection. I'm not in a rush to get her out, but yeah, I just want to mention her because I am using her. So this is another scent that I'm using. Another perfume that I'm also using is uh ysl libre um i've been using this scent for about for about seven months i got those kind of around the same time so that's what this scent looks like here really love this scent really nice sophisticated i'm actually wearing this scent today yeah i wore this scent today it's actually my hubby's birthday and so i wore this out we went and did some family photos and stuff so yeah, I really like this scent a lot. It's really beautiful, soft, elegant. like it. It's a good one if you all haven't tried it. So the next scent I've been using is actually a celebrity fragrance. And that's the Britney Spears Fantasy. That's what this looks like here. Um, so on this bottle, I'm about up to here on it. So a little bit more than half left. Um, this scent had to grow on me a little bit. I wasn't like the biggest fan of it in the beginning. But I've actually been slowly enjoying it. This is really good for just like an everyday quick go and run errands type of scent. Yeah, it's really nice, soft, um, and sweet. And so, um, I've gotten a few compliments wearing this perfume. So, yeah, this is a good one. Um, but I am trying to use it up. Go ahead and get it out of my collection. I got another one from Britney Spears. I didn't mention it in this video because I'm not, like, actively using it. But every so often, I'll go grab for it. And that's the Midnight Fantasy. So, you'll probably see that in the future project. Use it up. I'm also using, using Curve Crush. Um, so yeah, this is another one here. I'm a little bit less than half on this one. So trying to move that out of my collection and I've had this fragrance for years. So I, this is a really old one. So I'm really trying to go ahead and, and get through that. The next fragrance I have here is from Philosophy and it is, um, Cashmere Woods. Um, I really like this scent a lot. It's, it's actually just a cat. It just smells like Cashmere Woods. It's a, um, it's just a nice woody, it's nice, it's like a nice soft woody scent. Um, the cashmere in it helps kind of like smooth out that woodiness to where it's not so masculine. But it's really good though. So any scents that I have that are like too sweet, like too sickeningly sweet, I actually 
put the cashmere woods on top of that and it helps to kind of soften it up a little bit and round it off. It takes the sweetness out of it a little bit and adds a little bit more edginess to it. So I like using it for that. And actually I've been pairing this with the um, white pumpkin and chai and marshmallow pumpkin latte. I've been pairing it with these two scents just to try and it was actually hard to try to find something to pair with the marshmallow pumpkin latte. And um, I found that this worked really well with it. So yeah, that's just a little hack in case you all needed um, a way to use that. Um, next scent I've been using is the Rihanna Rebel. Rebel. Um, and so that's what this looks like. Um, on this one, I am about, I've used it more than I thought. I'm about down to here with Rebel. Really like this scent a lot. Really nice and seductive. It actually smells like a softer version of Rebel Fleur, um, which I do have. I'm also using, but I don't reach for it nearly as much um, simply because I'm using all of these other fragrances right now. But I do really enjoy that scent. So I decided to buy the Body Mist, body mist because I noticed that with these, with the Celebrity Body Mist, that the lasting power is actually pretty good. Um, I would say it performs like a really good, like... Bath and Body Works signature fragrance like this performs just as good as maybe like in the stars you know so um yeah I have this I'm currently using it now next thing I'm using is from Soap and Glory and it's the Mist You Madly and it's a floral seductive scent I really like this a lot it's very fresh floral clean like I always feel very refreshed when I'm using this so this is something that I like to use when yeah I, I just wanted to have a nice clean fresh scent um, so yeah, using this and this is where I am at on it. Just right about here. The next scent I'm using is my Perry Ellis 18 and I guess at some point I had this in a uh, project use it up because I have a little bit of a black marker left, permanent marker left on here. So that's where it was at the last update all the way up here and I've made it all the way down to here on this fragrance. So yeah, it does smell really good. I just, I've had it in my collection for a while and just trying to move it out. I have two more fragrances here. This one is from Zoella Beauty in this gelato and that's this scent here. I don't know if y'all can see on the back here but I've used up maybe about this much of it here and this scent is more of like a sweet fruity scent. Something really good and perfect for the summertime so since it's winter and so since it's winter it's not really been my vibe as of lately but I do have it in my project use it up so I'm trying to like use this up as well. I've went through it smells good though. I've went through one of um these fragrances already and I do have one more left. I did like a Zoella Beauty haul at one point and so yeah just trying to get these moved on out of my collection. Um, I'm trying to see how big this is. Oh it's a 1.5 fluid ounce bottle so yeah using that right now. Then the last scent I'm using which <laughs> this scent has a funny backstory to it but it's called Get Rich okay. That's the packaging on it. Got like this little crown for the lid. And I guess the brand is from All Star Motivation. And this is the little tag or whatever. So, yeah. Um, funny enough, so I actually got this fragrance. Where was I? I think I was at the convenience store getting some gas, y'all. Like, I was at the gas station. And there was this guy selling some perfumes out of, his, out of the trunk of his car. <laughs> funny enough. And, um, you know, he was just, he was trying really hard to make the sale. And I was just like, okay. I was like, let me just try to support a small business because it looked like he out here trying really hard. So I was like, let me try to support him or whatever. So, yeah, um, I got this scent. And then I have like one other scent um, from this guy, from from this line. And I think they have a website and everything like that. So I have Get Rich. It's not my favorite scent. It smells okay. It's just like some soft powdery scent. Um, I've been using it as like a bedtime fragrance just to try to get through it. But um, this is how far I've used it. I'm down to about here. So hopefully I should be done with this if I use it consistently within like the next month, month and a half. Um, so yeah, I have that. And then y'all, I think that's everything. So yeah, that's all I got here. It's just some ribbons. But yeah, that's all I got here for my project use it up this is all the stuff that i'm currently using and or trying to move on out of my collection so i can make room for using all of my new stuff okay so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on if you liked me including some of my non bath and body works items if you all liked it that's cool i'll keep it in if you didn't i'll go ahead and put that stuff back to the side and we'll just keep it strictly bath and body works but i thought it'd be kind of cool to see like some of my actual perfumes i'm using some other body mist that i'm using 
etc so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video um and then also too as i mentioned in my last project use it up y'all i found some lost footage of my um semi-annual my semi-annual sale from last year and so i figure since i think by the time i upload this video there will be a current sas sale happening i'm going to go ahead and edit those videos for you all and get them released so that you all can kind of have an idea of what you all might want to shop and look for during this year's sas sale so over the next two saturdays you all are going to kind of see some older footage and like i said it's deleted well not even deleted but footage that i thought that i lost but just recently rediscovered and so i want to get that footage out for you guys and i think it'll be helpful for you all as you shop the SAS sale. I think this year I'm actually going to like skip out um, on the SAS sale and if I do get stuff it'll be very very small haul um, but I want to show you all the stuff that I racked up and got last year so I hope you all enjoy those videos. Those are going to be loaded over the next two Saturdays and then I'll get back to my regular um, you know, filming schedule with um, my Bath and Body Works video. So yeah, again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Saturdays in particular are my Bath and Body Works videos. So if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!